Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Photoshop Challenge. My name is Ruben. I'll be your host for today. All right, we have some difficult um, uh, technical issues uh, behind the scenes, but we're going to start this right away since we have only like 10, 15 minutes to make this happen. So I'm going to jump right into it uh, right now. And as I was saying, if you want to, you know, start start with us at least uh get the starter files click on the description below and you're gonna get the uh uh the starter kit all right so what i was doing uh you're gonna get a you're gonna get a file with these three images and we're gonna start just like again putting things together wrapping things up uh because we we missed the first 10 minutes so i was again silhouetting this uh, using the selection tool the subject selection tool and then we're going to continue to do it right away to see if we can do this in 10 minutes all right that being said i'm going to create a quick you know rectangle here i'm going to put it behind this and then i'm going to just select a color i don't know something something that pops a little bit maybe i don't know something around there maybe make this a little bit like that and what we can do also is to bring out the title of this magazine so for this magazine i wanted to you know press t for text and what we're going to do is just just give it a name for this magazine i'm going to call it a uh, designer why not so we're going to go d apostrophe signer and then we're going to make this white Boom, and then just grab this and make it a little bit bigger and then just bring that like around here. And that's good. If you want to center it, just control A and then press here on your controllers on the top. And because again, we only have uh, only probably nine minutes. What we're going to do is uh, do this pretty quick. I'm going to bring the barcode and then Control T to make it or uh, Command T or Control T on your PC. Make it a little bit smaller. Bring this like, maybe align that right there, uh, which is good. Let's bring some of the, uh, let's move the guide just a tiny bit to the, to the left here. And you're seeing this because this is part of the mask. So what we need to do is just cover this with black. So cover that and then paint it with black option delete it fills that in uh, which is good now let's bring some of the text so i already have some of the text already here in place so i'm going to just like copy paste and then i'm going to bring this over here okay uh let's let's just edit this a little bit better so what i, I want to do is i just bring the character and just make it i don't know probably instead of 80 minus 10 the kerning and then left align this go to the paragraph or go here at the top and then for the text at the bottom just don't make a title case or or uppercase all over and instead of pop-ins, let's just choose a different sans serif. So from here, I'm going to choose sans serif and then just choose something that you like. You know, I like sans serif a lot. So uh, let's let's do Barlow, maybe. Then let's pick regular or medium. OK, I think I like that. That's way better. All right, so I like that. But then what I'm going to do is just uh, make it a little bit smaller. And also, I'm going to press T. Let's see. I'm going to press T right there for text. And I'm going to just break this a little bit better. Maybe I do this. Maybe creative journey. I think this is great, but let's tie this up a little bit. Just hold down option and press up so you can, the letting, you can play around with that. 
And because we are, this is very bright. So I'm going to just bring this down just a tiny bit, just to make it uh, more. There you go. Have more contrast. And then just start duplicating this type of, you know, headlines and uh, whatnot. I have some already that I already created. So I'm just going to copy and paste, which is going to help me since we were a little behind the schedule. This is good. Make sure you guys, like when you're doing this, uh, your contrast is, uh, is uh, optimized. This is a very important thing. There you go. We have two of them already in there. I wanted to add also like a kind of like a tagline or something. Because I think uh, this will make it a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this by pressing Alt or Option, your Mac, dragging this whole thing. OK. So I have this where passion meets, you know, pixels. And probably do it across over there. Maybe we'll, we can make this all uppercase and also make it probably smaller. Maybe we can do 15. And then for the, maybe for the letting, uh, for the kerning, uh, let's do 100, minus 100. Oh, sorry, plus 100. Uh, we can even go further, 350. There you go. I think that's great. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. And we can spa space it out even more. Let's do four, well, 500. And then let's center this whole thing. So press uh, Command A, Control A on your, on your PC, and then on the on your here and your alignment tools here at the top, press center. I think I'm going to bring everything down just a tiny bit because it's kind of, I'm going to just bring everything just, just down a little bit. Why not? Oh, there you go. That looks more like a magazine than this. I'm going to bring it down just a tiny bit. Another thing I can do, maybe we can offset this about there. Another thing we can do is just hide hide this end, like this part of the end behind the guides, uh, the guides uh, hat. So one quick way to do this, there's many ways to you can do this. It's by going into your designer title and then create a mask and then select, let's say the hat and then we're going to paint in here so we can hide it. So as you can see, you can probably hide this a little bit. Press your brush tool. And then we're going to just paint over. Make sure your foreground is black. So that way it's like it's painting what it's supposed to do. All right, I think we got it. We can make this zoom in a little bit using your command um, plus to zoom in. Uh, let's use the left bracket to just, I don't know, make it a little bit smaller and not go on the G per se, but this is, uh, this is great. All right, so we did that designer. Uh, I think we can make something cool with of this guy, we can probably, you know, do a selection again on the selection mask. And then what I'm going to do is just like deselect this and deselect this section by pressing um, option. And then let's create, a, we can do a gradient, gradient map. Uh, let's do a gradient map here. Go in here, double click, or just simple click, and then if we want to do something crazy, you're gonna start. You're gonna start like doing, uh, looking for something that works out, but then we're gonna blend that in there. So don't worry, this will be good. 
Maybe we can swap this too. Bring the highlights here. There you go. Maybe change this for something like that maybe. And then this one, let's make it a rich purple maybe, something like that. Press OK, and then we want to blend that in. Just make sure you click on it and then start, you know, with normal and then just go down the list. And then if you see something that, you know, kind of works out for you, then you leave it. Uh, if it, nothing works because you want to do something totally different, that's also cool. I think I'm going to stick with, I think I'm going to stick with it for now, but then lower the opacity just a tiny bit so I can see some of that color. There you go. I want to see some of that color, but then again, uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, around time we have two minutes left. I think I want to do something with the background. Let's just duplicate this background, Command J, and then go into Filter, the noise, and then we're going to add some noise. And then we're going to bump this up. Click OK, Blend in Modes and then lowered it just a tiny bit. I think this one, I'm going to lower that even further. There you go. And before I go, I wanted to put this into a magazine mockup, and this is something that I look it up. Um, I'm going to copy, Command, I press uh, Select All, Command A, and then Command Shift C. And then go into the MacUp just to see how this looks. Go inside the MacUp. Go in there. Paste that in there. Make it smaller so it fits all. I'm going to go ahead and go like this. Press Enter. Commit to it. Press Save. Command S. And then go back and this is kind of like your magazine cover and how it looks uh, at the end. All right, guys, I know this was kind of quick. And again, I apologize because we were having some issues in the back end, but thank you again. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.